From mudga, then we made up of that mudga bone. Now, this sequence is very important. Idham. Then we clothe the bone with flesh, lacham, muscle. And then we get to the next stage. But here are distinct stages described. And again, I ask you to go back to the time frame because I am so much impressed by it that I have to keep on reminding you not only the time period, but the simplicity of life at that time in describing things, how it would be described. It wouldn't be in great protocols and great prestigious journals. It, these would be simple statements of fact, observations made because these are observations that were made or that were revealed, that were put together for what they were worth. Then we made the drop into an alakha, we have seen that, into a mudka, and then we have got the idam and lacham here. These are all distinct stages, progressing from a something that is very simple, a drop, to something that is becoming more complex. And we see a sequence of events. And these words then and then in the Quran, when you look at the translation and then, they're either fa or tuma. One meaning happening very quickly, as you know, and the other meaning happening with delay. And the sequencing of these two are exactly as we know them today. Could we have the next slide, please? And here is a human embryo that is just at the end of six weeks going into the seventh week, where we begin to see changes, this is a human, occurring in the bone. It's a special technique of making the embryo or fetus transparent. And then a special staining technique is applied so that we can then see the bones or what will become bone. These things, as some of you know, will start as cartilages. And out of the cartilages, bones will be formed. For example, here are the jaws, nicely shown. Here is the um, bone, the collar bone here. And here we have bones of the arm, here well, the skull. But the important point is, we have the beginning of the stage we talked about earlier, idham happening, and shortly thereafter, other things begin to happen. Next slide, please. Here. All of this happening within a matter of a week or two, until we have now a fetus which is about 12 weeks old, 12 weeks, 3 months old, and here you could see a fair amount of this skeletal system of the bones which have appeared. Next slide, please. But concurrently with those changes, you can't see them because that fetus has been made transparent. There are the changes associating, associated with the clothing of that idham with flesh, lachem. And here we see, and clothe the bones with flesh. We can stop there and move on to the next slide, please. Because here is a fetus. In fact, it's a stage of an embryo going to a fetus where bones are already present. We have a very simple hand being formed. It will, over the next few months, it will become more complicated to become the real things we have. And here we have the leg. We have a very simple head here, features of the face, some characteristics that resemble human, but not exactly human. But the sequence, the point I wish to make here is this. The sequential ordering of the events in fetal development and the close timing between the fourth and fifth stages which I've described of idham and laham respectively as described to in the Quran are in full agreement with contemporary embryological observations.